An hour and a half drive north of Atlanta, nestled in the Appalachian Mountains, you'll find Marvin Pritchett tending to his apple orchard. And then it's a routine, it's day in and day out. Marvin's Red Apple Barn in LJ started in the mid 60s. He was Michael working as a supervisor sometimes. in the textile industry. He just kept, kept nagging me over the years. No. And decided to pursue that childhood dream to grow apples on the family's property. I mean, you could have grown one apple tree, though, like one in your backyard. That wasn't enough? It wasn't enough. So we, we started out a set of 100 trees. Now, with 10 acres of apple trees, it's a good thing the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Marvin's son, Barry. We're right at the top of the orchard. This and Barry's teenage daughter, Brianne, also work hard during the fall harvest. My grandfather has taught me a lot about things like this. I mean, it's stuff that you can't just go out and read in a book and learn how to do. It takes experience. It's generations of knowledge. It's great. I'm thankful that, uh, that they can take interest in it. Even the family dog, Bailey, takes an interest in the thousands of visitors who pop by to pick apples in the fall. On the Pritchett Farm, a hayride takes you deep into the orchard, and you can linger there as long as you wish. We've had people that'll stay out here for like six hours. Many on a picnic and enjoying the samples. We tell people, you know, if you want to pick two or three different kinds of apples and taste of them, that's, that's the best way to see if you like the apples. This is clearly not an apple. <laughs> yes, this was an accident. We were uh, planting some trees one year and I think some guys got mixed up as to which was what and <laughs> so we wound up with two peach trees in the middle of the apple orchard. They look ready. They are. You can, can have one, one if you like. Yeah, oh. sure. In fact, it's been a very good season. The trees are like a canopy this year because it rains so much. The above average rainfall certainly did not upset the apple cart. The apples have been great. Red Apple Barn is one of four orchards in LJ that offers visitors the option of picking their own apples. We have some Mutsu, which is a, a big apple cross between a Granny Smith and a Golden. We have a Cameo, which is a very rich, deep tasting apple. Inspired by the season, bake shops like Our Daily Bread make apple cider donuts and apple breads. You'll even find apple jelly, apple butter, and fried apple pies for sale.